So while that's paint setting up, we'll uh, go ahead and get this iron, a proper edge put on this iron. This'll, this is really good steel. It'll take a nice edge. So we'll start with that 320 and just like we do our chisels, we'll sharpen our planer blades the same way. So in the iron, we started with 320 and then 800 and we'll finish up with 1500 here. You can see the edge is coming along real nice. It's already sharp, but this will really take it to the next level. And then we'll finish off, we'll come to the edge here, lay the iron flat, and just give it a little pull. That'll knock that wire off of there. Oh, that's nice, that's really sharp. Sticky, sticky sharp. All right, our paint is dry now, so let's take our masking tape off. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? That's gonna look nice. You hear the helicopter in the background? That's, uh, I got a big fire just to the north of here and they're flying Chinooks over, dropping Bambi buckets. Oh, that's pretty. Good red, isn't it? Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. So you can see here, I've got the silicone soft jaws in the vise. That way uh, it doesn't mar the, um, the body of the, the plane. It'll, it's stiff enough, it'll hold it nice and secure. So now we can uh, drive that, uh, drive the pins back in. See, I like to take the pins out. Those little details, everything is about the details. Um, Having those a contrasting color, having those to silver and not just paint it over, it just looks so much nicer. So we can use this and drift this in. There we go. Now we can put our adjuster in. Now carefully, we don't want to mess up that oh, edge we spent so much time on. We'll put our iron in. Now you can see how that adjuster screw, we'll set it somewhere in the middle, runs the iron in and out. One, let's go up one more. Yeah, I like that right there. So here's the adjuster wheel. We can put a little drop of oil on there. Now we can set the cap and the adjuster screw. That'll lock that down there. I also went ahead and painted the little handle on there black. It was in pretty good shape. Let's see how it planes.
This is dry wood too. This is not green soft wood. This is old hardwood. Well, not hardwood, but hard fur. Fur, fur gets harder the older it gets. Oh, I could just do this all day. Beautiful little tool. Boy, what a nice little tool. It's hot, hot from the friction from using it. Nice and flat, it really, it really was in good shape. I, I don't think it's been used much. And it's in, uh, I'd be willing to bet it's in better condition now than when it was brand new. So make someone a really nice, nice little tool. Good, it's a good place to start if you're putting together your woodworking tools. Couldn't buy something like this today for under, you know, close to two hundred dollars to get something this quality. I would bet. Didn't. What, what do we have into it? You know, we don't have a little bit of paint, and you know, and this is something that you can do yourself. You know, if you want a hobby or need something to do, I you haven't restored tools like this, it's just so satisfying to take something that most people would just throw away and put a little love and effort into it and look what you have. You have something that's uh, um, maybe a family heirloom tool for just pennies. Yeah, you know, I know all of you don't have a, a sandblasting cabinet, but you don't need that. You can get down in there with a wire brush on a cordless drill. It doesn't, you don't have to get all the paint off. You can, you can uh, do this with just basic stuff and some sandpaper and a little bit of paint but tell me if there's a, is any of you out there that wouldn't have having something like that it's a beautiful little tool well I'm I'm excited <laughs> I'm excited to put this in one of your hands so again if you guys uh, would like to have this um, all you have to do is just make a comment on the video and just tell me why what you what you'd use it for and why you'd like to have it and and uh, Mrs. W and I will, we enjoy reading the comments and we'll look at it and, and we'll pick some and I'll send this off to you, to you tomorrow. Pretty nice. All right, well, we'll see you guys on the next video. An old school tool restoration video. Haven't seen one of those for a while. Nice to be back working with the woodworking tools. How you like that, all of you guys that told me that I sold out and went commercial? Getting back to basics here on the Wrangler Star channel. I've got a video for you, bottom left. Those of you who are watching on desktop, a very clever cherry pitter. But you haven't seen one of these before. Very fun. It's cherry time in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, what's better than Rainier cherries? It's one of the finest things in life, next to peaches. And what else? For those, those of you who are watching mobile, top right, look for the icon. You can click and link directly over there. So if you would take a moment to click the thumbs up button. It's a way for you to support the channel. I would appreciate it. I know you get, it's, get te it's tedious me asking all the time, but the fact of the matter is, is if I ask, you do it. If I don't ask, you don't do it. So what am I supposed to do? That's it. Well, I got big plans for tomorrow, Lord willing. And you know, we're living and dying by the fire pager. So hopefully it won't go off and I'll have time uh, to do uh, a video th that I think you'll really enjoy. So we'll see you guys. See you tomorrow.